Hello everyone, this is a video on long division. But before I explain about long division, these are the steps that we follow when we are doing long division. And I'm gonna do two examples for showing you how we do long division. One with a divisor that is one digit, and the other one with a divisor that is two digits. But before I do that, I want to explain the concept of division. Let's look at example one. When they say 256 divided by 5. This 5 is a divisor, is what it's called. And then the 256 is the dividend. It's what we are going to divide. So here, what we are saying, we are saying how many groups of 5, when we say divide by 5, we are saying this number, make groups of 5. So how many groups of 5 are in this number? Let's say, for example, let's take a smaller number. Let's say 15 divided by 3 is equal to, you are saying, how many groups of 3 are in 15? So if you take 15 and group 3, 3, 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, there are 5 groups of 3 in 15. That's what divide means. So when you have a bigger number like that one, it's not easy. Like I've counted with my fingers and got the 5. That's why we have long division. Let me show you how it's done. So when we are dealing with long division, this is how you write. You write this thing here. Sometimes they don't draw a line here. It's not necessary. If you want to, you can. And then you, you write the divisor outside, the number that you want to divide with this one. You write it outside. And then inside this box, you write the dividend, 256. And then you follow these steps. The first step, you divide. The second step, you multiply. Then you subtract, you drop. And then you repeat all these steps again. I'm gonna show you how you do that right you're gonna say five divide by two you are asking yourself how many fives in two if you have a two you can't have group of five so you don't have if this number was in the middle you divide and you, you, you it's not divisible in the middle you write a zero when it's at the beginning it's your option you can write a zero if you like but the zero before numbers then it doesn't matter so sometimes people like to write, you can write a dot or you can just write nothing. So it doesn't make a difference. So five divided by two, how many fives in two? There's none. So you write a, a dot or you leave blank. Then you go to the next number. Now you don't say five divided by five. And then this number is a number. You say five divided by 25. How many fives in 25? 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. There are 5 groups of 5 in 25. So you write, because I'm using 25, I'm going to write my 5 here. My 5 is my answer. 25 divided by 5, it's 5. The first thing you said divide, we have divided. Then you multiply. You multiply what? That answer that you just got, the quotient, what you have divided and you got as an answer. You take that answer, you multiply. We divide it first, then you multiply. 5 times 5 it's 25 you write 25 here that's number two number three subtract what are you going to subtract you're going to subtract 5 minus 5 is 0 2 minus 2 is 0 then we have subtracted the next one we drop the next number the next number from where we had these two numbers we drop this one so you have a six here so you repeat you repeat from the first one you divide again you say six now you start you, your answer, whatever answer you have here, you, you, that's your dividend. Six divided by five. How many fives in a six? There's one. Then you write there, one. One times five is five. Then you subtract. Six subtract five, it's one. Then if, if you had a next number, you drop it. So because you don't have a next number, it means this is the end of your answer. Then when you say 1 divided by 5, you can't. You can't make groups of 5 in 1. So it means this is the end. This is your answer. What is your answer? 256 divided by 5. The answer is this one. It's 51. And what does this one mean? It's a remainder. You write like this. Remainder 1. It means you can, in 256, you can make 51 groups of 5. But there will be a 1 that's remaining. That cannot make a group of 5. Let's look at example 2. Right. Our uh, example 2, it's 6,312 divided by 24. 
So you're going to write this and then write the divisor outside and the dividend inside. And then you're going to start and say 24 divide. You divide first 24 divide by 6. In 6, you can have 24s. So you can leave it out or you can make a zero or you can make a dot, whatever. I, I, I like leaving it out. Then you go to the next number. But the next number, you don't go to 3, it's 63. You say 63 divided by 24. You are saying how many 24s in 63? Now, when you look at it like that, you are not allowed to use a calculator. So you cannot um, calculate it out and see how many. So what you can do, you can go to a site on your scribbler and add 24 and see how many 24s will make. These two will make 8, 4. Two 24s will make 48. Let's add another 24. It's 12, 6, 7. Do you see? Now, this is more than 63. So it means when I have 63, I can only have two groups of 24. When I, when I add the third one, it becomes, it becomes more than 63. So I will write two here. Two groups of 24 are in 63. And then after we do that, what do we do? According to our method, we divide it, we multiply. We multiply what? That 2 that we have written there, we multiply it with a divisor. You say 2 times 24. That thing that you have added there, it's helping you to get the answer. It's 48. You write 48. But this you don't write in your script. It's not part of the answer. It's what you are doing to make things easier for yourself. And then after writing the, the 48, you subtract. Step 3, you subtract. 3, subtract 8. I cannot, I'm going to borrow 1 and make it 13. And this one is left 5. Then 13 minus 8. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. It's 5. And then 5 minus 4. It's one. Then what is our next step? After subtracting, we drop the next number. So the next number is one. We drop it. becomes here. So our number is 151. So we're going to say 151 divided by 24. Okay, I'm going to, I'm asking myself how many 24s in 151? Two 24s gave me 48. When I added the third one, gave me 72. When I add, this will be 6. This will be 9. Then I add another one. 6 plus 4, it's 10. Carry 1, then it's 12. Then I think I can fit another 24. This will be 4. This will be 4. This will be 1. Okay, I, I, I can fit another one. So how many 24s are in 151? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. There are 6 24s in 151. So I'm going to write 6 here. And then 6 times 24 is 144 then i subtract one subtract four i cannot i have to borrow go borrow one here four eleven eleven subtract four four five six seven eight nine ten eleven seven and then four subtract four zero one subtract one zero and then step number four we drop the next number then I drop the 2 and 72. Then I repeat again. I start at the beginning. I'm going to say 72 divided by 24. This thing that has, I've done already, it's helping me. 72 divided by 24. How many? 24 and 72. Here's 72. So there are 1, 2, 3. When I add 3, 24, I'll get 72. So my answer is 3 here. 3 times 24 is equals to 72. Then the next step, I subtract. 2 subtract 2 is 0. 7 subtract 0 is 0. Then my 2 was the last number that I could drop. So it means I, I'm done. I, I have my answer. What is my answer? 6,312 divided by 24. It's 263. So it's 263. Remainder. Do you see? I have a zero. I don't have a remainder. So it means it is exactly divisible. I can divide 6,312 divide by 24. It's 263 with no remainder. This is not a something that is easy. You really need to practice. You need, really need to take numbers and divide them out. Especially if the divisor is two numbers or three. Sometimes you get three numbers as a device. 
use this method, write them down, and then you'll be able to find them. This is the end of our lesson. Thank you for watching.